So now when, when we went in a new neurologist and I'm, I'm need to say, I'm always afraid of this seizure thing. So even if she didn't head for long, it's like a ghost in, you know, when she's mm -hmm. sleeping, I'm worried. And, and then uh, this new neurologist saw her exam and said, uh, where is the seizures? And we said, she does not have, and he was really impressed why she's not having even you know the electric electrical different functions mm -hmm. because he said for her brain she should be having seizures all the time so it's a kind of hope to give to the families that sometimes even if the situation is horrible things can go to a good way absolutely you just take the win whenever you can if if that's something that happened by mistake by miracle whatever the situation that's yeah. an amazing thing just go with it be happy with it and uh of course be on the lookout for other seizures but do the doctors in italy is this is the medical system very supportive of people who have had strokes or is it a little bit difficult to navigate i think in generally it's difficult in Italy, I'm from Brazil. So when I look with my Brazilian eyes, I can say Italy is perfect because in Brazil, you know, you have not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we have experience also in Austria. So Austria is amazing. So Italy is not good enough. So it depends, but we had a good support. Uh, things think takes a, a little bit long so sometimes you need to wait for a long time to have but uh, I think it was good and they have big um, stroke specialists we never went but mostly you know because our different way of moving but I know in this group that I am uh, that they are they are good in following the the kids mm -hmm. was is clara the did you have other children i have one son of 11 years and carlo has two girls from his first marriage but they are third 32 and 31 and uh the second one has muscular atrophy so yeah okay. it's so not unfamiliar uh, challenges with neurological disorders not are not unfamiliar no. to the family. Okay. I think this was one of the things that made uh, we be a little bit different because Carlo had his first experience that uh, it's a degenerative disease, so it's always getting worse. So his daughter is in the wheelchair all the time. She cannot move a lot, but she works full time. She lives by herself with help. So fantastic. So all of Clara's siblings are older. Yeah. Uh Davi is younger. Uh -huh. They boy. Yeah, my boy. Uh -huh. Okay. So what's life like for Clara? I know that she has a lot of things that need to be taken care of to get her stay her day started. So what does the day look like? Wake up in the morning and then what then? Right now we went through a really rough situation after her surgery because she made surgery to be able to walk better. So they, uh, she had her right foot with the toes going like this. So we need to do surgery and we did also in the hip, in the femur, because her leg was going inside. Uh, at this stage, something went wrong. So she had really hard dystonia for one month and now her good foot has a big dystonia in the toes. So it's five months that we are dealing with this. Um, mostly when it's normal, she was going to school. So she get up, she goes to school. And when we have extra activities, that's a lot. We try to manage every balance. Also, she gets not so tired and doing things uh, because we are not uh, going to events or having our own events or going to meet people so or 
doing content. It's a slave creating content. <laughs> it's a slave. Yeah. yeah. I understand. I only have a podcast and everyone expects me to have uh, social media stuff and short clips and this and that. Oh my gosh. I do not have the time. Uh, but I appreciate the fact that you guys somehow find the time um, to create content. But it seems like it's really important for Clara's recovery journey and for the support what does the content help you to achieve what does it help you do other than raise awareness because raising awareness is one thing and that's amazing and i love that her story is inspirational it shows that people don't need to follow the regular path whatever that is uh what does the content and the social media following help you do what does it support it's a lot of things. In the beginning, I never imagined to be like where we are today or dealing. Uh, but with time, I understood that a lot of people, like they go out, they, they write us. Uh, and also extreme case, like I, I was trying to suicide and then I saw you and I didn't do. And those are things that are so powerful so right now I say I'm not anymore in a work, but I'm like more in a mission because for us, we are working with this. So we are investing all our energy, money, what we have to make this thing happen. Uh, and it's not easy because we depend on Clara with her disability, with her teenage years and everything. I think the power of community it's huge so when we can help someone or they can help us or just you know exchange uh, things everything if i say like i would sometimes i said i would like a panettone and someone sent to me can be like stupid but we feel really okay someone cares you know 